After their previous hunting trip, Ryoshi knew they needed more food and more training. So their team headed out from Adnok, across the Deadlands, and into Shem. Here they hunted Garu and dust bandits galore. But it wasn't enough. They needed more food and they needed harder enemies. After this, they headed on into Skimmer's Rome, targeting small bands of Holy Nation and animals alike. They then crossed into Ocran's Pride. They knew this was dangerous, and they carried their skeleton brothers, but they didn't arouse too much suspicion passing through. In Ocran's Pride, they took out river raptors and anything that they could get meat from. They then pressed up into the Skim Sands, and after seeing some of their skeleton allies in trouble fighting the Holy Nation, they decided to help out and between them, they destroyed a large Holy Nation squad, looted all that they could find, including paladin weapons, and set off back across the skin sands, back to their home of Adnok. They knew and loved so well at this point, ready for the next step in their journey. Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, we are just over the hill from Adnok. We have gone on a very long journey. However, we have just been jumped by some white wolves. But before we get into that battle, I just wanted to go through some of the stuff that we've looted and some of the levels that we have gained. So Ryoshi has come quite a long way. I think he's leveled up six melee attack levels and a bunch of melee defense levels since we've been away, including strength and toughness, which is just amazing. Isaiah, level 50 strength. His melee attack is 27, so he's gone up a number of levels. Rook has finally reached level 30 melee attack and her strength is pretty good as well. Mew, I've kind of kept on the sidelines a bit, managing to level up her crossbow and precision shooting fairly equally. So Fleabag is coming along really well. His man defense is just insane. He's actually one of our best characters now as a dog. Leon, just all round goodness. I mean, his strength is amazing. His melee attack, melee defense, really good. Green, again, he was kept at the sidelines a bit, but his strength has gone up. And also he's been pretty useful as field medic, healing everyone up, so that's been amazing. Fluffy. Not quite as good as Fleabag, but again, getting there. Ace, once again, similar to everyone else, but his strength has gone up quite a bit because he's been more of a pack animal this time round, so he's been very, very useful. Short Circuit, I've been focusing on martial arts with him, and that has gone up, as well as his strength and his melee attack, which is very nice. Bluey has gone up quite a lot as well. He is really good. <laughs> I think technically Bluey is our best character, and he was pivotal in fighting some of the Holy Nation people, so he's just amazing and what can i say about crackman he's still really good but the problem is as you can see from the damage most of our people are quite severely damaged even the skeletons like leon's head is taken a massive beating we need to get these skeleton repair beds up and running and it just so happens we have actually unlocked basic skeleton repair beds so we could probably make one of them which would be nice we do have a lot of items so we should be able to get a few thousand cats right off the bat i mean that is worth a thousand cats if we sell it is actually valued at 11,000 as a Holy Cross. The problem is they're only really good for robots. They might be good in certain situations, but we're, we're allied with the skeletons. We're probably not going to need them. On the way through, we stopped off at the Smuggler's Ruin and we picked up a load of blood rum on the premise that we can sell it because although technically it's illegal, um, I believe, I th is it illegal? I think it might be technically. Yeah, more weapons. Green's got a few bits. We've got so much leather, it's ridiculous. Uh, so much food, like so much food. Fleabag has 200 meat. He uh, Tame Beasties mod adds animal lunch bag. You can equip any animal with a lunch bag and you can just put food in it and it means it's their fed and you don't need to worry about it. Really pleased I've added that now because now we're not going to have any issues with animals dying, which is just lovely. Let us just get on into fighting these. Ruka? Oh, that's Bluey. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay, and are we doing all right? We haven't lost any limbs. There we go. We're good. We're all gravy. Right, then. That's us all head back to Adnok with our spoils. We've got so much food, so much everything. We need to just get back, heal ourselves up for a bit, and then we can focus on the next leg of our little journey, which is going to be probably trying to actually secure our outpost. Because I would really like this to actually be a working proper outpost. The problem is, we're just not able to defend it right now. We do have Wrath of the Sand Ninja coming in nine hours and the Traders of it coming in three hours, which isn't great. But what I'm hoping is that you may have noticed that we've got 105,000 cats, which we wasn't even that hard. We just traded everything that Green had and a few extra bits, and we ended up with 100,000 cats. What we're going to do is we're going to ally with the Traders Guild in Heng, 
which I think I'll probably use Ryoshi as like an official figure to do. At that point, we will have an ally. We won't have to pay this weekly thing. Tell you what, how fast can Ryoshi run? Go to Trader's Edge. I want you to ally with them. Um, I would prefer it before we have to pay. Uh, it's not long until they pay though. You got three hours. Run, Ryoshi, run. <laughs> I haven't actually checked on any of these guys. Okay, Redrick has been very, very busy. Ooh, there's a high grade one. What is your level? Oh my god. <laughs> um, so you're completely maxed out at level 63. That's very, very nice. Uh, so I'm going to get you to go and trade everything that you can. Level 63 is, is very good. I mean, I would like you to get a little bit higher, but it does look like you've used all the fabric. One fabric makes five of these martial art bindings, and a fabric costs 119. We can sell one martial arts binding that's high grade for 163. So that's pretty damn good. E even the standard will pay for itself twice over. Oh, we had a specialist one as well. Oh, that's amazing. And this is all from the most recent one. So he's basically stat on high grade entirely. Anything he makes is going to be high grade. And the occasional specialist. And that's sold for 288. Well, five of them would be over a thousand. So we're making like 10 times the amount of money. So that's put you down. And everyone should be pretty much hunky dory. We're going to make this robotic repair bed because we should be able to. Really? Oh, it's a prototype one. Oh, so it's, it's still like a sleep roll. That's funny. Seriously, you ran into more sand, Ninja. For God's sake, Ryoshi. Uh, okay, I just need to hope that we can... Can we run into someone? Is anyone going to be able to help us? Probably not. Although, has the other guy given up? The other guy's given up. I reckon you've got a chance. Well, he's got a prosthetic arm. Oh, if you're going to take hits like that, Ryoshi, what's the point? <laughs> there we go. That's that's one more hit to the chest and you've done it. Okay, right arm. Nice. Get the other arm. Ryoshi, come on. This is, this is your shot. Oh, God. Ryoshi, get up, you fool. At least you're blocking on the floor. Nice. That's his right arm screwed, so can he even attack us now? He has to use martial arts. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Ryoshi. Excellent. <laughs> and he has a bounty. Amazing. If all else fail, we do have Sad, Neil, Ethel, and Cad there. They could have run and pick uh, Ryoshi up. But I think we're going to be fine now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Did I show that video clip? I'm hoping I still got it. Um, We found a couple of backpacks just on the floor. And in them, we found animal bags, like a bunch of animal bags. I, I don't think there are bags, but it was very weird to find, like, a few. Ryoshi still got one. It was like a coloured standard backpack and a few others that just had uh, these Garu backpacks and a few bits of a uh, standard first aid kit. So I don't know whether they were from the looters, because we've seen them running around before and we've attacked them before. I'm wondering whether they dropped them. Be interesting to know, because I don't think it was us. I think I would remember if we'd left backpacks on the floor in the middle of Skinner's Room. We should probably start stocking up on, on steel bars as well, so we can start making harpoon turrets for our new base. That would be quite good. There we go, so he's got 600 cats left. We're back to what we started, so that's pretty damn good, the fact that we've got all of that going for us. What? You're just all three hanging outside. I thought I told you to go to the bar. Why are you there? Can you go to the bar, please? I don't really want you to uh, be causing fights. Looks like you got a bounty. Is he dead? You only get half of that. He's not dead, is he? Oh, he's dead, for God's sake. Oh, we took too long. Well, I've given my money. 2,000 cats. Okay, that's not too shabby. And what does that do to our faction relations? Went up by two. Oh, that's a bit pants. Okay, Ryoshi, fine. Uh, let's go. Well, we're going to have to hang. Actually, no, let's go to the Traders Guild first. We might need to talk to Yamdu, I think it is, and give him 100,000 cats. It's the middle of the night, but I'm sure he'll be happy to take 100,000 cats regardless. Looks like you could use your own personal cook. Hello? You want to be a cook? Take a seat there, cockhead. Don't have time for this right now. <laughs> what? Um, you want to be recruited, but then you call me a cockhead. That's not very nice. I mean, he looks like who Yamdu should be. Maybe his name's changed as well compared to everyone else's. Because everyone's name is weirdly changed. I don't know why. You want to, like, take a seat? We should just wait with them. I'm sure this is going to spark very interesting conversation. <laughs> It is. That is Yamdu. For some reason, his name is now Banzino. 
Yes, I want to make an alliance. Oh, but it's an easy, sir. A lifetime membership in the traders go cost 100,000 cats. Unless you have a trading post in the area. Um, I do have an outpost. Oh, good. Then you get a discount. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, cool. Okay, sign me up. Relations with the slave traders improved by 75. Okay, sure, we shouldn't get raided with them. Slave traders are now allies. Anti-slavers reduced by 30. That's not very good, but we don't really care about the anti-slavers this playthrough. Oh, good, sir. Welcome to the Traders Guild. Please take your membership pack and have a nice day. We're now allies with the Traders Guild, so we shouldn't get raided by slavers or Traders Guild, which is very nice. I'm sure the Traders Guild one will be called off fairly soon, probably after this last payment. So that's very, very nice. But we need to get some more bedrolls. We need to get some more books so we can do some actual research. That would be very, 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 very good. So, Ryoshi, wherever you are, go and get some books and hopefully some sleeping rolls, and then we can get everyone fixed up, ready for our next little step. Bed rolls, here we go. Thank you. Uh, we could buy a couple of cactuses. Cotton, I think we could do with. Let's trade. Uh, two of them, one of them. Get rid of some of the leather. I don't think we really need that. Uh, we will take those. Thank you. Uh, we could go into the bar and rest up just for a minute. I think I'm going to do that. You go rest up for a little bit. Have a nice time. Just relax. You are very hungry, actually. Let's go buy some food. You can have a little relax upstairs, though. But we could get someone to start doing metalworking. All the impaler stuff would be good for crossbows, wouldn't it? And they're not bad. Like, actually, the coverage is fairly good. Oh, we need armor platings and fabric. That's not too bad, because we just need someone to get on armor platings. Let's get Nato on this. Ryoshi's on his way. Won't be long. So we've got a bunch of books. That's nice. We needed... Oh, hats and headgear. Oh, useful. There we go. Leather armor crafting. That seems pretty useful as well. Four books. Crossbow bolts. Let's get them. Advanced weapons. Honestly, I think we've got weapons pretty much covered, so I'd rather focus on the armors. Let's focus on that. Simple clothing types. Get that as well. Barbaric armor. Sure. And we'll leave it there for the minute. Because I think we're going to be fine for most of the armor that we've got. We've, we'll have the body, the legs, and the feet covered with our um, impaler arm. But we need a decent shirt. And we also need some headgear. So we've got some headgear coming. We'll need some decent shirts, which I think will be covered by the leathers. So, And I think after that, we'll be good. But Redrick, really, we're all waiting on you. We need you to get to this skill up quickly. What I might do thinking about it is get these guys uh, to come out here we might i might get one of them to buy a backpack or all three of them to buy backpacks actually and then we can start the process of buying some more stuff to ferry it over there to start building some harpoons and things because that's what i need i definitely just need harpoons as soon as i've got a couple of like decent harpoons i can just stick these guys on and we'll be all gravy uh we need steel bars iron plates copper ingots copper plates okay so we need a lot of copper ingots and copper plates Steel bars are going to be the thing that we're going to struggle with because we can't produce them ourselves. The rest we could technically produce ourselves, but it's probably just easier to buy. I reckon we're probably going to need about 10. I mean, what you've got. So you've got a bunch of copper plates. It would be nice to take all of them, but we're not going to be able to carry them. Right, here we go. So you can buy some of them. You can have some of them. Some of them. That'll do. That should be enough to build a couple of bits. So I want you to go there then. Okay, we've got free traders here. Let's try and talk to free traders. Maybe they'll sell us a backpack. I'm a bit worried because it does look like our building's disappeared. You do have a tiny backpack. Oh, no, you do have a standard one. Okay, uh, Sadnil can have that. And we will buy a couple of these. Excellent. So that's good. Two backpacks. Sadnil can run 14. That's, that's better. That's much better. Okay, just run. I am really concerned. I can't see the building at all. Oh, no, it is there. It just wasn't spawning in for some reason. But it does look like we're not getting the taxes come <clears throat> so that's good so it is working the fact that we're allied with them means we're not getting taxed at all but the sand ninja are still coming to get us or maybe we'll just get them to come here and then we'll run away straight away so i think what might be better in hindsight is uh we delete this wall like this and then what we will do is we will have a wall just like that we will have that one build out from there that one build out to there and then what we can then have is harpoons either side. So we can have three, uh, four on that side, four on that side. We can then put like a tower here. I think a tower is about the same as that. I think that would work pretty well. And then I can have harpoons on that as well, overlooking this gap. I think that's much, much better than we, what we had before. No, I want you to focus on this if possible. Who else has iron plates? You have iron plates. 
as soon as the sand ninja it says that they're on their way we are running away very 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 quickly um, and we're going to have to bring some more iron plates with us. Morning, let's just dismantle this. That will leave them on the floor. Sad Neil, then, I want you to pick up all of this, please. There we go. And that should be enough to make this, then. There we go. The rest can then go into storage. That will be hunky-dory. Are they still on their way? They're taking forever. No, they're not. They're not coming. It's just been called off. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, I was so worried. For ages, I was worried. Oh, look at this. We only need two workers on it now. It goes so much quicker. No upcoming raids. We've got the defense of the United City and their Traders Guild. I think it's high time then that we try and, um, yeah, get this base set up properly. So what I'm going to suggest is that we keep all these guys here. Apart from Quig, I'm taking Quig with me. Debugger and Rusty can also stay here. They can all have a lovely time doing research and also doing our weapon smithing and armor smithing. I think that'd be good. Everyone else, I think it's time to pack up. So most of this can just stay as is, but it would be nice to take some of it with us, especially the iron plates and all of this, because we can use this for building and crafting. So then let's change the squads around a bit. You can be on the potato peelers, congratulations. And I think that will do for them. They can still be outpost squad, that's fine. They can stay there. Give all of this to Twig. I don't know how much he can actually, he can hold six of each one, that's fine. That's enough. Gas masks might be quite good. They're going to be better than these. Let's grab out some gas masks for everyone. It's going to look a bit weird, but it's going to be better than having nothing at all. But I think that's pretty good. So then, what have we got in terms of food? Medicine, we've got barely anything here and here. I'm going to leave that as is. Got so much food. And I think then, the potato peelers, you're going to make the long journey up to the new outpost. Leon, you're going to come in here quickly. Trade and see if we can get any more like steel bars or something. There we go, 11 steel bars. Perfect. Well then, I think this is a fond farewell to these people while we make our journey up to our outpost up here. Is Twig running ahead? Twig, stop running ahead, please. <laughs> For God's sake. Twig doesn't care. Twig's just going to like, screw it. I'm running ahead. Look and see if you can stop me. He's not encumbered at all. He's carrying all this stuff, which is just amazing. He's so good. His he's an adult. His attack is awful. So we're going to have to train him up. But honestly... He's pretty good as is. For some reason, his precision shooting is amazing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. Uh, and he's a good field medic. And yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. I'm really hoping that this will work in our favor. We'll take all this stuff. We can start a proper base. We've now got no enemies coming to attack us. We might have the occasional raid, but I think this is the best chance we've got. Now that we've got plenty of allies next to us, uh, they should, like, the Traders Guild should come and help us. And I think United States will come and help us if we actually come, if we get raided. They should come and defend us now. So, I think we're, we're in a really good position now. So, I think we just need to get our guys to go over there, finish building what we've started, and we can go from there. Ooh. It looks like we've got a couple of Sand Ninja. That sets Bluey, Blee Bag, and Fluffy on them. If I saw that running towards me, I would be terrified. I would be absolutely terrified. You just like bit his arm off. He's critical condition after one. He can't even use his weapon. Oh, the poor guy. Right, he's down. The other guy is also down. Disguised katana. That's interesting. Take that. Uh, keep pushing up. Right, and while our guys are just on their way, can we do any more farming? We can do potato farming now. That's nice. Uh, we can do sugarcane and we can do cactus. I think that's all we really needed, isn't it? Once again, there's just a standard backpack on the floor. Like, is this mine? Pretty sure everyone has a backpack at this point. Even Kekmin's got a backpack. Kekmin, pick up that backpack. I feel like that was Isaiah's. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Why is there a standard backpack on the floor? Is that one we dropped before? Fine. That's very weird. Okay, all of you get there. At least we've got another backpack to give to one of our guys here. That's nice. So, now that you lot are here, you can go back on jobs. Just relax for a minute. Put your feet up. But also, uh, yeah, while you're here, just uh, get the walls built. That'd be great. There we go. Everyone's at work. Excellent. Just get on building this. Even if we just get these walls built straight away, at least then we've got some defenses. I just need to get a couple of ramps up to here, and we are good. Right, so there we go. We've got uh, two ramps just going up to there. And I think after that, that will be fine. I don't think we're going to need any more ramps. 
Uh, we could build one there and one there, I guess. But for now, we'll keep the gates defended. That should be enough. Right, now that that's done, we should be able to start building some actual defences. So, uh, harpoon turrets. One, two, three. Are we can only build three on that side, really? Are we can only build three on that side. Okay, fine. Well, six is not bad. We might have a couple back here. So let's position them properly. There we go. Nine. Nine's pretty good. Um, excuse me, who the heck are you? We've got rebel farmers in our base. What are you doing? Yeah, Leon, get here. Ryoshi, take them out. What is going on in here? Uh, Crackman, good. Yeah, Crackman's on it. <laughs> Don't know what went on there. We just, for some reason, had rebel farmers in our base. Let's take their weapons so they just can't get back up again and attack us again. Uh, although, Twig. Twig, I've got a special job for you, my friend. Being eaten alive. Good stuff. They're not going to get up anytime soon. If they do, Twig is on it. We definitely need more iron plates. We definitely need more iron ingots. Iron ingots are the thing that is getting us down right now. So can we actually make that if we do crafting? Copper refinery. Reduces copper plates. Chuck that one down there then. It would have been nice to get some copper ingots, but I've got no idea how we're meant to get them. Probably more research, but we'll leave that like that for now. Good stuff. Uh, and Ryoshi, what I really wanted you to do, and the whole point of every all of that, was that I wanted you to build some beds. So, interior? Beds? That would be nice. Proper beds. Four f oh, we, I thought we needed bed rolls. Oh, well, four fabric, one building material. Um, a couple of these? Prototype skeleton repair bed. That can go there. Good. Okay, well, Ryoshi can at least get on that one, put the sleeping bag on, and someone else can fix the rest of it up. That's good. We're also going to obviously need uh, the rest of our creature comforts in here. And I reckon that will do, at least for the time being. We'll uh, branch it out eventually, but I think some beds and some basic storage is good enough. So they can, they can crack on with that. And I think then, uh, for right now, I think I'm going to finish off by raiding the rebel farmers over here. We're going to get Kekmin, Short Circuit, and Leon over there. Mew, for some reason, looked like she was being attacked. She is being attacked by manhunters. Okay, screw that. You're not going anywhere, Leon, <laughs> Kekmin, and Short Circuit. You're going to take on these people, the manhunters. Come on. You. Oh, I, I mean, good on you for actually shooting them. That's great. Slowing them down a little bit. Nice. Leon straight in there. Uh, Leon, I want you to take the rest out. It looked like there was quite a big squad on their way. Are they actually coming this way or are they walking away? I think they're walking away, thankfully. We'll leave them alone. I think we'll be all right. Um, so in that sense, Short Circuit, Kekmin, and Leon, you're going to go and you're going to raid the rebel farmers. Hang on, who? Tuck Bro, no faction. You've got a prosthetic... I kind of feel a bit sorry for you. You're no hype, but you're a danger. Well, I'm lost. How did you get lost? I don't remember. I lost our queen. I can't get back to her. Or the hive. Do you know where our queen is? Far away. That's why you can't feel her. His eyes widen. His mouth gapes open. You don't need a queen, though. You can live here. Me help a, a metal freak? Sure, why not? He nods quietly. Care to pay me 500 cats insurance policy? <laughs> insurance policy? Just in case? For what? Just in case? Sure. <laughs> um... Fine, we've got a new person, Tuck Bro. Well, to be fair, I was going to say we needed someone to get on our farming, and I think this seems like the perfect person to do some farming for us. Um, because you should be quite good at farming. Well, you're good at uh, labouring anyway, so whatever the case, we do need some more labourers, and you can be that. You're also good at engineering, so congratulations, you are now our engineer slash general person. I feel a bit sorry for him, though. He can only go that fast. Really? Because his robotic skill is so bad. I honestly didn't know that was a thing. That the robotic skill lowers your athletics. How weird. We need to get you a better leg. But for the time being, I'm going to get you on engineer. And then I'll get you on farming. Uh, Leon, Kekmin, and uh, Short Circuit. Yeah, congratulations. You are on uh, killing the rebel farmers duty. They are all just, <laughs> they're all just standing still. Oh, this is pretty good. Uh, where's the Skeleton Sultan's guy? What do you have for sale? I'll take a look, sure. Um, they've got 150% markup for first aid kits. Sure, take it. 150% um, markup for everything. Buy the stuff that we don't really want, we just picked up for the sake of it. 
We can sell everything to them. This is amazing. Uh, do you have... What have got price on those machines? Name your price. 14,000 for the caravan sailbacks. They might be quite useful, but we don't have the cats right now. Excuse me? Kekmin, what? <laughs> Wahaha, bleed. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't realize you were like that. Fine. Um, we could just loot everything they've got. We can probably trade the weapons that are worth, which are basically useless to us, for a tasty profit. Yeah, because it's 150 markup for everything, so we might as well just sell everything. There you go, so that's already like 5,000. It's great. I mean, if you can find them to sell stuff to, they're amazing. I mean, you can't buy stuff from them very well, but at the very least, you can definitely sell stuff. Basically 9,000 cats, and we wiped out the rebel farmers. They weren't really much, but... <laughs> I thought they were going to be a bit more of a challenge. They were, they were really, really not. Ooh, we could take on the manhunters, though. Come on, you guys can do it, I believe. I'll go take on this group of manhunters, because I'm sure three skeletons can take on, uh, like, 12 manhunters. Come on. Can we go attack all? You can do it, I believe. Oh, nice. To be fair, so far, we've taken... Oh, we took one bit of damage. We are absolutely annihilating them all. <laughs> Short circuit. You're just amazing. Uh, he's taken a couple of hits. I thought it was Leon who took the damage, it wasn't, it was short circuit. Oh my god, we're just slaughtering them. I feel sorry for them. I mean, short circuit is the only one who's taken any damage. Kekmin's absolutely fine. I mean, Leon is as well, it's only short circuit, and that's because he's got no way of defending himself. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, here we go. Oh, we, and he only got hit because of Leon. Oh, short circuit, you are actually taking some damage. This is this is quite good. We've annihilated them all. Brilliant. Oh, short circuit did get his arm screwed over a little bit. I'm pretty happy about that. We just wiped out a whole squad of manhunters with three of us. Took all their weapons, run back to the skeleton salt and sell them for a little bit of money. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, on that note, that uh, huge amount of blood pulling on the floor, I'm going to call that a day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like Wisdom, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lorby Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burschel, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Cheers, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me in the channel. It means a lot to me. So just thank you so, so, so much. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.